The planet Venus had oceans and enabling conditions, what happened and how Venus lost its oceans. Receive the warmest of welcome to this new documentary, if it is the first time, I introduce myself, I am the engineer Hidakal Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. Where we will see the most recent scientific studies and modeling that transport us to the planet Venus, to understand how its oceans hung millions of years ago, discovering new details about Venus and the important role of technology in this exciting new planetary exploration. Let's start this new scientific and technological documentary. From the perspective of an engineer. Let's start. This is the so-called planet Venus. It is the second planet in the solar system in order of proximity to the sun and the third in terms of size in ascending order after Mercury and Mars. Although today Venus is a seemingly inert planet, with a toxic atmosphere 90 times thicker than that of planet Earth and surface temperatures reaching 463 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The environment on the planet Venus was not always this hellish world that it is today. Various studies have established that Venus harbored primitive oceans, and even this study that the United States Space Agency, NASA established a climate computational model in which shows that Venus could have been habitable with liquid water and a temperate climate on its surface for at least 3 billion years. Like the other planets in our solar system, Venus formed 4.5 billion years ago and Venus is usually called the twin of planet Earth because both planets are of similar size. But validating the existence of oceans and habitability in the past of the planet Venus and knowing why Venus lost its oceans requires that a robotic mission be sent to the infernal surface of the planet Venus, a mission called Da Vinci and that is ready to reveal the secrets of Venus, as we will see below. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. The name of this now hellish planet refers to Venus, the Roman goddess of love. To validate and document beyond any doubt whether the planet Venus had oceans, and clear up the questions of some scientists who do not share that hypothesis, it is necessary to resort to the most advanced aerospace technology, which is already ready and properly articulated with the new mission. Of planetary exploration of NASA called Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging for that reason the acronym of, Da Vinci. Its launch is scheduled for June 2029 and its entry into the atmosphere of Venus is scheduled for June 2031, when the mission descends through the layers of the atmosphere of Venus to the surface of the planet. Da Vinci is the first mission to study Venus using spacecraft flybys and a lander. With the observations and records that this Da Vinci mission achieves on the planet Venus, it will be possible to validate what science has already documented in reference to how the planet Venus evolved, very equivalent to the evolution of the planet Earth, since for thousands of years both had very similar conditions, which changed drastically due to factors that even science studies. In investigations that are of great relevance, because knowing what has happened with our neighboring planets is of great importance and value to be able to know what could happen and under what conditions what happened with the planet Venus and even with the planet Mars, to understand that probably in thousands or millions of years so desolate and inert our planet Earth will also end. A shocking reality, but totally realistic since that will be the fate of planet Earth at some point in thousands or millions of years in the future. To scientifically validate the past existence of oceans and understand how they were lost or disappeared over time on the surface of the planet Venus, the Da Vinci mission will measure the proportion of the deuterium and hydrogen component. Because the disproportionate excess of deuterium in Venusian water vapor detected by several probes, especially Pioneer Venus, indicates that the planet Venus had a lot of water in the past, since deuterium is heavier than hydrogen and takes longer to escape to outer space. That is why the electronic sensors of the Da Vinci mission are going to detect this compound especially. Additionally, the Da Vinci mission will search for evidence of the existence of felsic rocks, which are rocks that form in the presence of water, such as granite on planet Earth. To identify this particular type of rock, the Da Vinci mission will descend on a region on Venus that is considered one of the continents of the planet Venus with the hope that if these types of rocks are identified, it will be an additional and very convincing test of the presence of oceans in the past of the planet Venus. Applied technology, 
electronics and telecommunications play a determining role in this mission, since Da Vinci is equipped with various tools and instruments, the capsule has technology that will allow it to analyze the atmosphere of the planet Venus through four instruments two spectrometers, one weather station, an oxygen sensor for the lower atmosphere, and a descent camera, a camera that uses the same technology as the cameras of the rover robots that NASA has on the surface of the planet Mars. With this camera, the Da Vinci mission will observe the surface of Venus in infrared with a resolution that will increase as the device descends. The capsule is expected to land at a speed of 67 km per hour, so it is not certain that it will survive the impact. If you do, you can last about 18 minutes transmitting data in the hellish conditions of Venus. To achieve the longest possible survival time, the probe includes several passive cooling systems to delay the inevitable heating due to the 460 degrees Celsius that it will find on the surface of the planet Venus. With the findings achieved by the Da Vinci mission, the scientific knowledge of the planet Venus will be enriched, because as we can see in this diagram for more than 40 years, from the year 1978 to the year 2020, several missions have been sent to the planet Venus. Acknowledgement that they are the ones that have supplied the data and observations with which we can know precisely everything we currently know about Venus and be able to model its oceans in the past. But as we see in the diagram, starting in 2029 with this important Da Vinci mission, a new phase of observations and measurements begins from the surface of Venus or very close to it in order to accurately decipher the origins of the planet Venus, validate the existence of oceans, understand how they were lost and if there were conditions for habitability. So that all these data serve as a basis for the study and exploration of the thousands of exoplanets that await us in the vast universe. Do you think that there were oceans and habitability in the past on the planet Venus? I am waiting for your opinions in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.